Twenty-eight, ninety-nine, a hundred. Ready or not? Here I come. What, what now? now? Why are you here? <laughs> you were supposed to hide. One, two, three, four, five. Hey, you forgot zero. Go over to a place where the fun is very real. It's time to introduce you all to Numberville. You'll have some fun and learn a thing or two. It's great to see you all. We waited just for you. We're always on a go. Replacing the mailman. Five, five, where you are. Come out, come out wherever you are. I'm coming to find you. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. There you are. One, two, three, I win. That's not fair, he sneezed on me. Mailman seven, you shouldn't sneeze on people. It's contagious. You're right. I am sorry. I didn't see him there. <laughs> Mailman 7, are you feeling all right? As a matter of fact, I'm not. I'm a bit under the weather. I fell asleep without my socks, with wet hair, holding a lemon popsicle in my hand. I think I have a cold. Fire 5, good that you're here. I have a letter for you. For me? That's amazing. <gasps> Where is my handkerchief? I'm sure I had that letter here somewhere. I think you just blew your nose into it. Oh, I am terribly sorry. I thought it was my handkerchief. Apologies, there you go, a letter. I am suddenly less excited I got a letter. Mailman 7, I think you are very sick. You should go back home and rest. We can take over for you. Right. We're happy to do it. Yes. But there is really no need. <gasps> I don't know how it happened. For seven years straight, I haven't been sick even once. There's always a first time. And as an experienced sick person, I am telling you, you must go back home. Have some tea and rest. I would much prefer being in bed right now, but I have some very important letters that people must receive today. So we promise to do a good job and deliver all letters in time. You really think we can replace Mailman 7? Delivering mail is no joke. We might make a mistake. It's a very serious responsibility. What mistakes can we possibly make with mail? We're supposed to enter unfamiliar houses. What if there's a hole in the yard? And there are also many streets to cross. Perhaps Fright 2 is right. I should continue my route on my own. <gasps> I am totally fine. I think you are totally not fine. You have to rest. People can wait. I still have a few important letters I have to deliver today. So perhaps it would be better if you delivered them. Important? Important letters? We really shouldn't deliver. You made the right choice. I wish you good luck. I am going home to rest. Let's see how many letters we have to deliver. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. We have ten letters. It'll be fun. Are you ready? All, all for a letter. letter. And a letter for all. I'll go with you, but just so we're clear, I'm not delivering. And you'll see I was right to worry. We'll make mistakes and all of Numbersville will be mad at us. Fright too, come on. I'm coming. How will we fit this in the mailbox? Huh? The mail was delivered. Oh. Mail, mail 
well delivered. delivered. <laughs> <sighs> yes. <laughs> I really think we should be stopping now. What do you mean, stop? We had ten letters to deliver. So far, we delivered four letters. We have six left. And Mailman 7 said they're all urgent. Don't say urgent. It only makes me more stressed. We have only two more letters to deliver. Fright 2, you're missing all the fun. When will you get the chance to be a mailman again? So far, all went well except one thing. You haven't high five for delivering. So what do you say? It's your last chance to help with delivering. I'm still scared of making mistakes. But it all went well so far. That's true. Well? Okay, I will try. Right on. Cool. <laughs> Wow, thanks. I was waiting for this letter. I thought it got lost on the way. It really wasn't so bad. You see? You delivered the letter safely and made Six really happy. You just need to let yourself enjoy more and fear less. We're doing an amazing job. Now then, will you deliver the last letter? Of course. So let's find Number Nine's house and deliver her letter. It's a letter from Amusing Cruising. She must have won a cruise. She's so lucky. Weird. I don't see Nine's house. There's house number eight, and then house number 10, and house number 12, and house number 14. Where did number nine disappear? Maybe it went on vacation? Houses don't go on vacation, Threeny. We probably skipped it without noticing. Let's go back. Okay, this is house number 12, and this is house number 10, and this is number eight again? What? Eight is smaller than nine, and 10 is bigger than nine. Nine is supposed to be between eight and ten. I don't understand where it is. Ten. And twelve? And fourteen? Hold on. Number nine's house is missing. Because this is the even numbers side. There are only even numbers on this side of the street. And that is why they skipped number seven. Nine. Eleven. And thirteen. Which means that nine's house is on the other side of the street. Go ahead, Fright 2. Put her letter in the mailbox. And our job here is done! Oh, I can't believe it. Her mailbox is on her front door. And I was having fun. I knew something would go wrong. Baby One, what are you doing? That's an excellent idea. A letter in a bottle! Just like in Robinson Crusoe. It's perfect for someone who won a cruise. Isn't it dangerous to throw that? I might break something. This is our last letter today. So far, everything went great. There shouldn't be any problem now. And Nine must receive the letter. If not, she might miss her cruise. <laughs> okay. I think it is delivered. Well, was it so bad? We delivered them all. And you even delivered the last two by yourself. Yes, that's right. All by myself. Hello, Mr. Six. Are you all right? You look a little angry. Very angry, actually. I received a fine for a book I haven't returned to the library. And not just for one book, but for nine of them. And it's been six years since I have read a book. Would you believe it? You wait for a prize and a cruise. And end up with a fine. Oh, dear. We mixed up six and nine. We must have held the letters upside down. So the cruise prize was never intended for Mr. Nine. It was intended for Six. Oh, we have to fix the mistake. I knew this would happen. I wasn't afraid for nothing. And now we've ruined Six's vacation. Okay, no need to panic. We'll just go to Nine's house and take the letter. I will go no further. It's too much responsibility. I'm going back home. But wait, Fright too. We have to fix this mistake. It's simple. It is noon, and Nine's dog is probably napping. We'll sneak in swiftly and take back the letter. Mm. 
perfect. The dog is really napping. Let's crack the code for the gate. And enter quietly. We shouldn't wake him. This dog is really grumpy even much more than Ms. Nine. How will we crack the code? We should try books she has read. I've seen them on the fine Mr. Six Hell. Wonderful idea. Um, which books were there? Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Let's press seven. A tale of five balloons. Five balloons is five. Fifty shades of ice cream. Fifty is five and zero. Yes. <laughs> Easy as pie. Come on. Let's take back the letter and go home. The dog is awake. Quickly, everyone climb the tree. <laughs> Does anyone have a better idea? Let's eat ice cream. That's a great idea, but it won't get us out of here. I have an idea. Do you see the dog's bone in the corner there? Yes, but how will we reach it? Hold on. I will calculate our distance from it. One, two, three, four, five. This means the bone is five jumps away from us. So what is the plan? The plan is very simple. I will throw the dog a ball in order to distract him. Fire five, you will roll five times to reach the bone? We will lower a string from the tree. You'll tie the bone to the string. And when the dog tries to catch the bone, we will spin the string around the tree, not allowing it to catch it until he'll get dizzy from all the spinning. Fire five. Meanwhile, you will get the letter and we will all run outside safely. Very simple. And are you sure it will work? Yes, easy as pie. Fine, it sounds like the best idea so far. I shouldn't have listened to them. I knew we were not responsible enough to deliver letters. And now they have to enter that yard and go past that karate dog. I don't understand how Mailman 7 is able to pass it every day. Hold on. I've got it. The dogs don't bark on Mailman 7 because they're used to seeing him each morning and know he's not a stranger. I have to tell my friends. Remember. You need five rolls exactly. No more, no less. I'll try and remember that. Here, go fetch! Now. I can't lift up the bone. It is stuck to the floor. Perhaps you have another idea? I know how Mailman 7 is able to put the letters in. The dog doesn't bark at him. Uh, we need some addition to become a 7. I really like that idea. Just hurry up before I become someone's breakfast. Addition, transition. Three and baby one. Let's go outside quickly. You have to go towards the exit. You won't hold on with those licking. I'm scared they're gonna split before they're out. Right, too? I'm so happy you got over your fears and came back. Yeah, it was really scary without you. I have to admit you were right all along. Sometimes fear prevents me from doing stuff I can actually do well and even enjoy. Responsibility might seem big, but if you do your job seriously and together, it's actually not scary. It might even be fun. So, Fright 2, could it be that you had fun today? <laughs> A little. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mailman 7. I can see that you're feeling better. I am feeling really good. Thank you. How come you're dressed so nice? Haven't you heard? Six and nine are getting married. What? When did that happen? They met in the library. Six paid the fine for Nine's books, and Nine said it was the most romantic thing anyone has done for her. They went on a cruise and decided to get married. What a strange story. I was sick for two days, and look at all that has happened. Right. Some really strange things happened. Now, kids, I have to leave. Thanks again for everything. You are perfect male persons. <laughs>